One time I shit myself uh, in line at Baja Fresh. <laughs> sure, prior, prior to even purchasing, I walk in this Baja Fresh. I had like a, a all night banger. I was like 28 years old and I was driving from a, a place in Philly back to my apartment. I lived uh, about 45 minutes away at the time. And I, I'm in line. Baja Fresh is one of those. So as soon as you walk in, it's the counter is pretty close. You order and then you, you wait not too far away. And I felt it hit. And there was no one in there, so I got, my order was coming up. So I was like, I'll just wait. And as I waited, I turned around to oh. hide because I was wearing khaki shorts. So, And I ne never wore khaki shorts. I just decided I was going to wear khaki shorts. And instead of hiding it, I turn, turned around and watched other people walk in to hide my ass against the counter until I got my food because I thought my, to myself, I can, I can just hide the mark with a bag. You know, mm -hmm. I eat a long bag. And they don't <laughs> They only give you a, a, a burrito in a sleeve and they fill the side of the sleeve with chips. I didn't know that. I've totally forgot about that. So, <laughs> I had to grab this, this bag, the length of a, bu a burrito and the length of my ass crack and put it along my butt <laughs> and walk out to my car. And I, at that time, I had a real job. So I had leather seats and I had to ride like, like, a, like a six inch bumper above, <laughs> above my seat so I didn't get shit on my leather seat. Uh, Dude, if you shit your pants, I wouldn't let you ride on top of my car like Teen Wolf. <laughs> I just Christmas tree on the top of your car. Yes. Amazing. Wait, you didn't get your food or you did get your food, though? I got my food because the bags. I was afraid to walk out because I, I knew it was a big one. It wasn't like a, right. you know, it was a, it was a splash. And I was like, I Tell me, how often are you shitting your pants? I feel so, like this is a regular occurrence for you. <laughs> Imagine, oh, dude, once a quarter I shit myself. That's not a <laughs> quarter. <laughs> so picture. So he, he's you got to announce it at the annual stockholders meeting. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are taking my order, if you're at the counter, I had to just at that point turn around to the next customers and shimmy down, <laughs> down the line. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I stuck around. Yeah, I haven't shit my pants since I was a kid, I don't think. What about you, Zach? I've definitely shit myself during this quarantine. Really? <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Gambled, gambled on a fart. And, dude, by the way, my bed is the next room to the bathroom. Gambled on a fart. Did not work out. Oh, I bet you no. shit that toilet, dude. I bet your, your underwear probably looks like a front yard in Kentucky. Just throw them out. Just get <laughs> it a car that doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I never throw out my underwear. I, I started doing it recently. Uh, my new rule is if I have a hole in my socks or underwear, I immediately just throw them out. Just throw it out. I don't know why I keep it going. But yeah, I haven't shit my pants since I was like a kid. Um, I mean, I mean, I've had farts. I've had sharts. Like you'll you'll have a fart and it'll be a little bit of wet, a little brown. But even that, I remember the first girl I ever ever ate out. She had some shart in her underwear. Jesus, first girl I ever <laughs> went down on. Gross. Yeah, this yeah, fucking know. half Filipino chick. And she was pretty hot, dude. Her body was fucking righteous, dude. And he, he was the first chick I ever fucked around with. And yeah, I went down on her. And I remember, like, I pulled her panties down. And then, like, I noticed it. And I was like, all right, that's pretty fucking gross. And then Notice, I remember. Wait, I, wait, wait. Stop skipping over shit like Greg. Noticed what? I noticed, like, shardy shittiness in her panties. Oh, my God. So then I, I saw her notice the shardy shittiness. At one point, like, I saw her, like, look at it and then look at me and then being like, oh, shit, like, grab it and kind of, like, bunch it up. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I still fucked around with her. Her grandma walked in on us fucking around. Um, but, you know, that was that. Why, why are you telling this story with the cadence of, like, you just lost your mom at a eulogy? <laughs> <laughs> this is not like a soul, thoughtful, emotional speech. This is yeah, this is it's a fourteen-year-old girl that had shit in her pants, and this is the first girl I ever ate out. What? <laughs> so you, never out a, you never ate out a fourteen-year-old shitty oh, asshole. What's What's great to me is that there was a time in your life where eating women out was tied with having your face in women's shitty underwear. You know, like <laughs> yeah. shit, eating down women. First time women, I ever went down on a chick. Okay. I found shitty underwear. I thought that was the experience. I thought that was it. That was, was like, oh, you find a treasure every time. <laughs> yeah. The old Choco Taco. Yeah. 
it wasn't it wasn't good it was it was fine he, and this chick i wouldn't let her blow me I, I regret this to this day i think back i had a thing where i was like yeah only a whore would put a penis in her mouth Damn, dude. oh our fathers were bad to us I don't know what it was. Well, well, nope. <laughs> <laughs> or, or somebody's mother was too good to too many. I can't fucking believe I didn't let this half Filipino chick suck my dick and I ate her shitty pussy. What up, motherfuckers? It's the Real Ass Podcast. It's your boy, Luis J. Gomez. Luis, my little thank for last dude. Ultimate minority.